Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can run and create virtual devices in Android Studio. So, we would either have a device manager tab on the right side. If it's not already there, we can also find it in Tools and Device Manager. So, then create a new virtual device. We just simply click Create a Device. We then have a few options between like a phone or a TV. I'm just going to be creating a phone. We then have most of the Pixel phones, so the Google phones. I would then just use a Pixel 2 in this case. We then have to pick which Android version we're going to be running. I will just stick to Android 30. And just the most important thing to note is that Android is backwards compatible. So as long as we're having a newer version than the one we are developing in, it should be fine. So just pick one of the newer versions, probably not the newest one. There might be some issues, but 30 seems fine for this setup. We can then change the name or a few other things, but just keep it as standard, that's fine. So we now over here have our virtual device, our Pixel phone. We can then start it. And in this case, in my case, it's gonna be running inside Android Studio as a tab on the right side. But I will just quickly showcase if you want it to run in a different separate window, we can also do that. But for now, let me just showcase. We are just starting our emulator. It might take a few seconds to start the first time. It's compiling this virtual phone. There we go. It's now starting up. You can see it's running Android. It is actually working the exact same as any other phone. It's just a virtual one. So think of it as a normal phone. It works exactly the same way. We can use the internet. You could go on Google. You can go on YouTube. You can go anywhere you would like. So as you see here, we now have a standard phone. Still starting up. And we can use the mouse kind of as we would use our fingers for the touch. And it is actually running as an exact normal phone. But let me just quickly showcase if this is not preferred. We can then close the emulator. And we will now go into File, Settings, Tools, Emulator. And instead of having Launch in Tool window clicked, remove this. OK. And when I now run my emulator, it's going to be running as its own window, as you can see here, which might be nice, but it's also a bit different. So now we have our running phone. I have my application in the background. I will then simply run my app which now is then automatically going to know I have a running device. It's then going to be compiling my app. And if we just give it a few seconds, this app should then be loaded onto my virtual phone. And there we go. So for now, this is just a very, very simple app where we have a simple button and just have some text saying hello world. But as you can see, it works. And I can ask with any other phone. I can close it. And I can actually find this app here called just my application in this case. And I can open and close it as I would with any other app on this virtual phone. But that is the main thing. We could then, if we want to, close our simulator. We then be closed. We have our devices over here. And in case we want to delete it, we can do that as well. But that is a quick demonstration of how we can create our new virtual device in Android Studio. If you enjoyed this quick demonstration, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.